There's been a troubling development in the world of theater. No, they didn't give Alan Richson a shot at his NSYNC jukebox musical. This is something much worse. Folks, Hillary Clinton is now a Broadway producer. <laughs> You may know about her previous theater work, Dear Seth Rich, and The Book of Epstein. But now she's paying tribute to the early 20th century American feminists, and the show is called Suffs, short for suffragists. Don't call them suffragettes. It's considered sexist. That's right, suffs, though I thought it was short for something else. Like, I can't imagine suffing through two hours of this, or this show makes me want to suff myself with a pillow. Suffs was written by Shayna Tobb, and as one might expect, the writer of the feminist musical has a great relationship with her dad. This one's for people who every Father's Day feel like they want to throw up. But we're not here to talk about her solo career. We're here to talk about her theater work. Here's the opening number. Let mother vote. We'll keep our country clean. We'll tidy up our politics until they are pristine. I agree. Women shouldn't clean their house. That's demeaning. They should be cleaning up the entire country. Now, mommy's been cleaning up our politics for 100 years, and I'm sure you've all been wondering how our politics got so pristine. Speaking of clean, there's also this little ditty. I'm a great American bitch. Queen bitch. I seduce whoever I please. Very jealous. I fornicate freely, and some say I really bring gentlemen to their knees. Wow, what a trailblazer. Everyone knows how hard it is to seduce a man. She might as well be bragging that she's mastered the art of getting punched in the subway. The song also contains these charming lyrics. Drink if they've called you a nag. Drink if they've called you a slut or a shrew. Drink if they've called you a crazy hag. Drink if the rumors are true. Call them nag, slut, shrew, hag, they'll wear it proudly. Just don't call them suffragettes. It's considered sexist. Here's more. I assume the one on the far right is taking care of the tenor part. It's cloying first wave feminism in musical theater form. They seem to be thinking they're doing something provocative, but their side has all the power. They will get no pushback for this, unless it's that they should have had more T words in the cast. Important. Catchy, beautiful. Of course, it could be worse. The American suffragettes were relatively tame compared to the British. They smashed windows, destroyed fine art, and set fire to the houses of their political opponents. One even did this. Newsreel cameras captured a lone figure stepping onto the racetrack and doing this. All for the headlines. But aside from breaking windows, burning buildings, and committing ritual suicide by horse, what else did they do? Their demonstrations were tightly choreographed events, full of matching outfits and signs. Hey, matching outfits, that's fun. A tradition that the cast of Suffs decided to continue by all wearing matching combat boots. Here in America, the suffrage movement was mostly non-violent. Unless, that is, you include the work of folks like Margaret Sanger, a key figure in the movement who really should have considered the horse track route herself. Oh, and there was that lady who carried the hatchet. Real sweetheart. But the strategy in America was basically the same. Wear matching outfits and pout for attention. Back to the musical. Taub said, Every new generation has to fight to protect these rights and freedoms again and again and again. And who exactly are they fighting against? I know they didn't write a whole musical to argue against Twitter anons. Let's ask producer extraordinaire Hillary Clinton. We're in the middle of an election year, and I think any conversation about getting people to vote, how it took so long for women to get the right to vote, how you should not throw away, ignore the power of your vote. I think all of that is good. Yes, this is all about Trump. They'll do anything to make Hillary's dream come true. This is Hillary's Inconvenient Truth Tour, warning the world about imaginary threats in a desperate attempt to stay in the news. But kudos to Suffs for keeping millennial theater kids in work, I guess. At the end of the day, it's all about barren shrews patting each other on the back. I'd go see it, but frankly, I'd rather be a feminist at a horse race. 